You'll never look at reality and yourself the same ever again. Hi, I am your host, Sky Cheyenne, and welcome back once again to Rebuild Reality, where as always, we talk about who we really are, why we're here, and how all of this stuff works. Now, this is big. If you can get this, this can completely change your reality. This can totally flip everything for you, where you're not in a state of need, you're in a state of, I got it, right? So in the Bible and in so many spiritual texts and, and everyone always talks about this and this is the importance of the I am but trying to understand like well yeah what that's like another name for God right or uh, how does that relate to me oh you're supposed to be the I am so well, what does that mean well, what <laughs> I, what you know so that's why I like to break these things down that's why I like to pull them apart and bring them into our 3D reality. So the I am is one who has. That's why God is I am, because I got it all, right? But we keep saying that I am the one who doesn't have. I am the one who wants. I am the one who needs. I am the one who's struggling. I am the one who doesn't get it. We keep declaring ourselves as that. And that's the problem. So in the Bible, Jesus is like, who do you say I am? He asks his disciples. And they're like, well, you're Elijah, you're John the Baptist, etc." And one of them was like, you are the son of God. You know, boom, you got it. But he's like, this is who I will be for you. Because I can't be anything else but what you say I am. And this is why our personal identification has to change. We can't be the one who is the one who is, I, I am the one who wants. I am the one who wants to be. I am the one who wants to have. I am the one who doesn't have. Because everywhere, all over the Bible, um, it you know, in so many other spiritual texts, it says, I am is stressed everywhere. And this is why. Because we have to move to the I am. Yep, dang right I am. <laughs> you know, it is that, 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 cocksure kind of thing really i mean that's what it is this is the kind of confidence we have to have um where we're not stuck in the middle of the one who doesn't have and the one who's waiting because that's what the i am the first and the last i am the alpha and the omega i am the beginning and the end i'm not the middle it's not about the middle uh, your identification isn't in the middle it isn't the one who is waiting that's just the story. So the mind needs a story. It needs a story most of the time um, of how you got from point A to point B. So all the middle stuff where we're waiting for it to show up is nothing. It doesn't matter. We can't identify as it. We have to identify as the one who has. Because if it's if God is the alpha and the mega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last, then that's the only place where God is. And that's where we need to be. So we are the ones who ask in the first place, who say, hey, you know what? I need this thing, want it, gonna have it. This is my order that I'm placing. And then once we make that declaration in our meditation or in our affirmations or whatever process we wanna do, and that's fine, then we immediately go to the one that has it. That's our now identification. That is why we're like, freaking, hey, this is amazing. This is great. Like, yes, you know, we have to identify as the one who's, yes, I do have it. Because while we're waiting, the middle part is just the story. It doesn't matter. God isn't there. We have to be in that. That connection is in the beginning when we ask. Then we're in meditation. We're in oneness with God. We're making the connection. Then we're moving to also God because God is the one who has it. The I am. The I am that I am. I am that. I am that. I am that person who has that. Not in the I am the person who is waiting for it. The middle is just the filler. It doesn't matter. Because just like time, well, I think most of us understand now that or have heard that time is an illusion. And of course it is. 
but the mind wants some kind of structure. It's like, well, I need to have a sense of time to understand this reality thing. So it likes these little things. It wants its little story. It wants to view time as, oh, this happened and that happened and that happened and that happened and that happened when it's always just snapshots of this is happening. This is happening. This is happening. <laughs> so the mind likes this little story. So that's all it is. It's just a mind story of how you got from point A to point B, the unfoldment of when you, when it comes into your 3D perspective. But you want to live only in the beginning and the end. The alpha and the omega, the first and the last. You don't want to be worrying about the middle. It's It's meaningless. It doesn't matter. So if you can identify yourself as the one who is stating, hey, this is what I want, and then that's it. If you know it, if you know you want it, if you've stated you want it, if you may put an emphasis on it that you want it, it knows that you want it. Because I know we go like, you know, we do handstands and somersaults and all those things. You know, have I been heard? You know, did I do it right? Did I ask right? Did I do it long enough or this or that? It's like, well, if you know, it knows. All you have to do is like the decide what you want. Be like, yeah, I'm having it, baby. And we move to the one who's like, I got it. I freaking got it. That's how amazing and cool I am. And having that confidence and just throwing everything else to the curb because you know I am. I am that. That is your declaration. That is your decree. I am that. I am whatever it is you fill in the blank. You know, I am, I am wealthy. I am uh, successful. I am popular. I am, you know, whatever it is that you want. I am the one who has my special person. I am the one who is happy and fulfilled. Um, I am the one who gets everything I want right now. And that's the identification, you know, and you live in that solidness. You have to bring yourself to that end to, yeah, I'm the one who has, not who has not. And then life just, wow, it just blows up for you. It just completely changes when you move to that identification of yourself as that. Instead of always being in the one who is, which is, of course, the victim thing, right? I'm the one who doesn't have, I'm the one who needs, I'm the one who wants, and it's always being kept away from me, etc. Uh-uh. You cannot be that person anymore. You have to be in that identification of the one who is, like, walking down the street, like, yeah, I got it. You know I got it. I know I got it, and the whole world's going to know I got it because I am. And that is how, if you understand that, you will never look at yourself or reality the same again. Because the middle is nothing. It doesn't matter. Don't let it matter. Don't let it be your identification in all of this. So I am, of course, your host, Guy Cheyenne. And um, I just wanted to mention one thing, though. It has been a couple days since I uploaded I've been trying to work on something, but it's like, oh my God, it's taking a while <laughs> because it's the story of what's happened to me, which I've had a number of people ask me and they're like, well, what's, what's your story? You know, and rightfully so, you know, what, what qualifies me to be up here? Why am I here? Why do I know what I know? What, um, you know, what's behind all that's happened to me. And also a lot of that is about my extraordinary life experiences, my extraordinary otherworldly experiences. So I can't really put that in one little video, <laughs> one little less than 10 minute video. So I may um, make one longer video because I tend to want to keep them shorter or I may make a couple of them. But I want you guys to know that, yeah, otherworldly things are true. They happen. This stuff is real. Magic and miracles are absolutely real. Absolutely. I want you guys to know that and understand that. So thank you once again for joining me here on Rebuild Reality. I hope you'll subscribe if you haven't already. I hope that you will like, share, and comment because that's just, I love it. <laughs> it's nice. So I'm going to see you guys here next time. 
Reap.